second. So that's it. We started recording our English speaking session. So thank you so much for everyone to join us here at our English YouTube channel, English with Alex. It is the same YouTube channel as I call the Yes You Can, but I decided to change a little bit. So if you are seeing new English name here, don't get uh, scared because it's the same English YouTube channel, which is called Yes You Can. Guys, today we have here with us a special guest. Her name is uh, Charmy. Charmy is from Bangladesh. And we are we will get, have a, an amazing conversation during this English speaking. So hello, Charmy. Tell us a little bit. How have you been? Is everything okay with you? Yeah, I'm pretty well. Uh, actually, today is my off day also. Uh, so today was like a little boring type because when I was in home, I didn't do anything special and I was uh, like a, a fall asleep for a long time. And so it was like a little boring. And I was like asleep uh, for about uh, 4 p. sorry, 3 p.m. It was so long time for me. So um, then I woke up and got freshened up, and uh, then I cooked for me, and uh, some I ate something um, for in afternoon, and um, sometime later I think that I have to do some study, but uh, I didn't start my study. So, uh, so I think uh, after finished. <laughs> Uh, in this meeting, I can I have to study for my classes, and uh, so that I think that uh, sometime I can uh, practice with you. So I'm here to practice with nice. you. Nice, nice. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. And yes, you indeed you needed to study. I know that's very important to to get ready to be ready for our, your English exams, your university and me as uh, to be honest let me share with you here we are on the same boat because honestly uh today is my day off as i told you before today is uh wednesday here in brazil and i didn't uh, went to my job because they uh, gave me this day to to be at home they they told me to get some rest because i have a lot of extra time working and they decided to 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 provide me a day off during the weekdays and that's why I thought, how many times, uh, how can I start, how can I practice my English speaking skills? And I sent a message at our English WhatsApp group, and we both are here. So let's do it. Today, I would like to share with you our my screen, just a second. Today, we would like to talk a little bit about learning English. And we're going to learn English by talking about this topic here. Uh, just a second. Yes, that's it. Where is the most interesting place you ever have or, or you have ever visited? So uh, this topic uh, is talking about travel, about places and about general questions. So I would like to know about you. If you do not have a time, if you do not have a chance to travel abroad yet, uh, which place do you uh, would like to visit which place uh, do you like to visit in the future uh, as we are studying english i suppose that you're gonna say something about uh, the united states the australia and england or some countries which uh, their native english it will be english but the native uh, language it will be english so let me know about you first where is the most interesting place you have ever visited and second, uh, which country do you like to visit in the future? Uh, actually, I didn't have any opportunities to go abroad for visiting our uh, tour, any tour. So I didn't go there. And in my country, I have visited uh, little places, like some places, and the most. Uh, uh, pleasant uh, time was in Silet. It's a district and it's a division in our country, and it's literally a um, wonderful uh, time for me. That uh, when I was going there, I was uh, went there, 
and I was um, I went there with my uh, family member, uh, my mother, my little brother, and my one of my uncles, and one of my friends also. It was was um, uh, amazing day when I was uh, I went there and uh, but uh, I go I went there uh, two times but uh, next time it was so boring because it was raining all the day so it was a bit tiring and uh, it, so it was difficult for us to go there and uh, visit some places because it was uh, raining so <laughs> badly so it was very hard and but first time when i went there it was very um, amazing time we saw some places and it was uh, like um, you you know that or <laughs> didn't hear about this it's like that uh, mosque uh, some type of mosque and uh, there are some places also it's like called the historical places and its name was uh Hazrat Shah Jalal. Uh, sorry it, it's called in our country Majir Sharif and it's uh, wait I can search about it wait a little okay okay i uh, unfortunately i do not uh i didn't hear it before i don't know exactly in english which can be which word can be used to transfer or to translate it maybe you're gonna you maybe you can type you could type it this on our chat here chat box just to see yeah actually i, I can... didn't know about this what can it say about it's like um places where uh, muslim can go and uh, some other people also go there but it's like a mosque type um, when the muslims go oh gotcha i gotcha and i know it's i actually I... most visited place in our country and it's uh, nice. actually go, uh, say that it was a, a good place when if you are uh, like um historical places uh, in our country most of the historical places it was one of them so it was uh, so good that's nice that's nice and um, change a little bit let me ask you here you just told me that you are at your day off right now and i'd like to know a little bit what activities do you like to do when you are at your day off not like travel but let's change this question for your day off uh, what activities do you like to do when you are at your day off? Uh, in my day off, I would like to uh, see some, watch some movies, and uh, uh, gossip um, with my friends, and also, and uh, sometimes I would like to go somewhere in my city uh, to um, for a long day out and it was so good if you have time and you can go out for some time spending in a good place and in our in our city there are so many places to go and sometimes we uh, go there and it uh, it's like a go it's like a, a beautiful uh, place in our country it's a park and sometimes uh, when we got time uh, when we get time and we can go there with my some friends and uh, some colleagues in our city and it's uh, really close to my place so uh, when i get i get some time and i get a day off then uh, if uh, some of my friends have time then i go there with all of my friends and colleagues and uh, spend some time in this in those places so that's all and Sometimes when we have, uh, when uh, my all of my friends have uh, work, then I had didn't have, and also otherwise I didn't have any work. Then I think that uh, sometime I watch movies and uh, I saw some dramas. Uh, so that is all uh, in my audio. 
Nice, nice. I got you. And honestly, uh, it was the same here. I like I like so much when we when I start when I at my day off. Honestly, I like to be at home, maybe to go to the park, maybe stay spend time with my family, or even just watching movies as well. I like I love to watch movies as well. So, uh, but let's change let's use this these things let's give these tips for our viewers here for people who are watching us our followers on the at our youtube channel uh i got an idea about it so if you would like to watch your movies when we are at our relaxing time when we have some relaxing time when we, when we are at our day off maybe uh we would like to use it this time to learn english as well and that is exactly what i used to do uh, just to uh, give an idea, yesterday night, uh, because today right now is just a little, it's 12, five minutes past nine, which means is nine, 12, five here, uh, nine, tw 25, sorry, a.m. here in Brazil. And I would like to share with you that yesterday night I was watching a movie, uh, but all this movie that I watched, it was in English. So I watched the uh, um let me remember the name it's top gun maverick have you ever heard about this movie top gun maverick it is made by tom cruise have you ever heard about tom cruise uh the movie actor uh i i uh, heard little about uh, tom cruise uh, but i didn't see the movie also oh really so it's amazing it's an amazing movie one of the best uh, in my opinion of course i love it and yesterday I watched it. I already watched it in my native language, but that's time I start. It's, it's the second time that now I'm watch it. I had to watch it in English, so only only in English. So that's very interesting. And my brain is getting accustomed to watching movies in English, videos in English, and I have been I have been using this time to improve my English uh, listening skills and try improve my vocabulary. So now. I'd like to know a little bit about you. Uh, how many day, how many hours a day have you been spending to learn English? Let me know what is your English study. How is your English studies? Uh, actually, for this time, I didn't uh, spend more time in, in learning English because uh, now it's a uh, time for my academic uh, studies because my university exams are near to me, so it's very hard time for me to learn anything about English because I have my university exam. So, and uh, 13, um, 13 January, I have my one of my exam, university exam, it's a final exam. So I have to study more about my um, academic studies. So I didn't uh, get uh, more time for learning English. But uh, sometimes I see some dramas uh, in uh, with English subtitle. It uh, sometimes it may help me uh, to learn English. And uh, when I get time and I feel bo so bored, then I uh, see I watch some drama. It's actually Chinese drama and Chinese and Korean drama. But uh, I saw all of this uh, with uh, English subtitle. So it was uh, so good for me to learn English by that and uh, watching um, movies or dramas also. And it uh, quite sometimes helped me to know uh, some new vocabularies because i enjoyed the movies and dramas and i also learning english uh, many words uh, many new words so it's uh, like sometimes uh, it's uh, quite helped me and also i can enjoy the dramas oh that's very nice uh i like i like to watch movies as well as i told you too i like to use this uh skills that i have because when you have a thing that you really uh, are into to do, it's very useful if you can just adapt it to start to study with it. So if I like, uh, I mean, if I, I love to watch movies, why not watch movies in English in my target language? That is very useful. And I agree with you. If you like to watch drama mo movies or things like that, why you would not, why uh, do not use this time? Why do not watch movies uh, about drama 
uh, to learn English. So that's very interesting. I, I like the, the way that you are using your time. And uh, I like to watch it, as I said. I, I love to watch movies. So let me ask her another question. Uh, do you think that reading books or do you think that reading articles is better than watching movies, than watching videos to develop your English vocabulary? What do you think about reading skills today as you are uh, English, as you are uh, English learner, as you had already your English skills, you are able to communicate yourself? Let me ask her, do you, do you think that uh, reading articles or reading English is important to learn English. Yeah, actually, it's uh, totally um, depend on uh, anyone's life because when you are not uh, able to read or uh, watch something, then uh, when you get time, uh, more uh, enough time, then you can uh, read uh, some articles or uh, sometimes we are uh, going anywhere and we see some newspaper and we can read them so it is uh, quite uh, dependent on uh, anyone's life uh, and uh, it's also time uh, relation with uh, time so but uh, yes of of course uh, we can read some articles and read uh, some books for um, improving english because uh, reading is the part that is uh, that can help you to uh, know some uh, new vocabularies because uh, it's very hard to know something that uh, if you see dramas or movies then it sometimes you can enjoy all of this but you didn't uh, uh, learn uh, all of the things and um, that that's why uh, when you are reading something then you have to understand all of the words all of the sentence then you can uh, you have to know some uh, new vocabularies so it's an uh, actual thing that is uh, you have to know something uh, when you are reading and uh, but uh, when you are watching or uh, seeing any dramas or any movies then uh, you have to uh, you can uh, skip some words skip some uh, line uh, it doesn't matter when you are watching something but when you are reading something you have to do all of the uh, you have to know all of the uh, words and all of the sentences meaning so it's uh, quite uh, helpful uh, when you are reading some articles or some uh, reading books or something so i think reading books or reading articles it's more important than watching movies or watching drama nice nice i believe so uh, because as you just said in movies or in videos on the internet maybe we will not hear the right grammar uh, way to say, you know, the right the, the thing said and the right uh, uh, and the right way to write mood. So we must to know. I know that it's quite difficult because there are almost anyone, uh, the, almost no one in the world use the right English, the right way to speak English because they uh, sometimes use a lot of slangs. They sometimes use a lot of words which it, uh, it's called the uh, phrasal verbs and a lot of things. So. This this type of uh, this type of vocabulary, this type of uh, uh, parts of their English is not learned by books or by um, or by some grammatical right. grammatica rules. But we needed to we needed to the the both we needed to the right way to speak English, which means the grammar vocabulary, the grammar structure, and we needed as well the right uh, way to spell, the right way to say it, and how people in the streets, how people speak on the streets, uh, how American English is speaking when they are in their daily situations, like uh, at the supermarket, like at, uh, uh, at the gas station or things like that. How can I will be able to communicate with them if I do not know exactly uh, what they are speaking? Uh, I don't know if you had the same, diff the same situation. So in that, move us to the next question. Uh, I'd like to know, in your opinion, what part is the more or is the most difficult? I'm so sorry, I just needed to edit here. Uh, what part is the most difficult part uh, to you uh, to learn English? What do you think that it was the most difficult part for you to learn English? Actually, uh, learning English, uh, 
the most important and most difficult part is reading actually i think that uh, because uh, reading part is uh, something like you have to know all of the vocabularies all of the uh, sentence me uh, meanings then you can read the um, uh, story or read some article in uh, meaningfully so um, if you didn't know some words meaning it will be very hard to uh, understand the meaning of the story so it's very uh, common thing that uh, if you didn't know how to read and uh, if you didn't know all of the meanings of a story of a passage or some articles then it's very hard to understand the story so when um, when i uh, learned when i started learning uh, english and uh, i uh, you know that i uh, actually i finished some time ago my ielts uh, course classes so then uh, this time i knew that uh, reading part is uh, so difficult in ielts uh, preparation and i think that uh, in other part that uh, speaking listening writing all of the part is okay if you are practicing good and uh, if you get more time to practicing then uh, all of the uh, all of other uh, part is uh, you can get easily improve you can improve uh, of the uh, three um, part but uh, in reading you have to know more vocabularies and uh, you have to improve all the day um, all the way and uh, it's like uh, <clears throat> every day we have to know some new vocabularies uh, to improve our reading uh, skill so it's very hard i think it's very hard and it's uh, difficult more difficult and uh, all of the other part so i think reading part is the difficult part and it's made more difficult on other uh, part in english so i feel yes. that like yes yes i agree with you it's not easy and why i'm asking that it's because people are maybe who are watching is here people that have been follow our english youtube channel for a while uh, maybe they consider that it's easy to learn English or our English is not so good because we are not native speaker. Maybe they are looking for our mistakes here on our YouTube, at our YouTube channel. But uh, some some of them or the majority of them has no idea, have no idea how difficult it is to develop our English skills as we are doing. For instance, uh, like ourselves, by ourselves, we are trying to develop our English day by day and uh, we are we are successful in it. We have been we have been uh, been successful uh, on developing English speaking skills, and the proof of that is that we created this English YouTube channel. We create our English community on the WhatsApp and on Facebook, and uh, now we are moving on this uh, app that I I bought to use for recording our English speaking series. I step up step up level from this English YouTube channel. And I'm so proud of my English and I'm so proud about you guys, about your English skills as well. It's awesome to have you to discuss some things, to talk about uh, general topics. It's, it's a pleasure to me. I'm so happy with that. And uh, uh, I just would like to share that with you. So that's why I, I'm here. So people have no idea. There are a lot of people who just think that it's easy to learn English, but it's not easy and takes time. And sometimes you feel bored, sometimes you're gonna feel tired from it. But if you do not give up, I'm sure uh, that you're gonna you're gonna make it, and I'm sure that you're gonna feel happy with your own development. And that is exactly how I feel. And I'd like to you, uh, Charmy, just answer or just gave me, just gave for me or for the followers who are watching here the question, one question or one phrase or maybe made some 10 sentences here with this phrase here uh, below, as you can see here below. English change lives. I would like to know about you. Do you believe that English can change lives? And why do you think this phrase is true? And could you give me some examples, maybe from your own life, maybe from people who you know uh, that uh, learning English and change his life uh, for better, of course. Let me know here, what do you think about this phrase here? Uh, yeah, actually, this is the key of uh, your English learning because uh, when you don't, when you didn't know that English changed life, you don't, you didn't uh, know how to 
uh, improve yourself. So I think, oh, yes, uh, learning English can you know, change your life because uh, when uh, whether you are looking for uh, something incredible, uh, job opportunities, and uh, in learning English, you know, shortcut uh, success uh, for shortcut success, and also all over the world, uh, actually, countless lives uh, are being improved with English. Actually, uh, sometimes and most of the uh, time, we think that uh, English is more important than other thing because. Uh, and one of the thing is that now uh, happening with us uh, that uh, you are from other uh, country and you are from in uh, Brazil and I am from Bangladesh and we are here and we are talking uh, with each other uh, by through English uh, speaking because uh, when uh, in your um, country you know the Brazilian language <laughs> and I know the, our uh, Bengal language, uh, but we didn't uh, know how to uh, communicate with others. So English is the uh, main medium for us to speak and uh, understand what you are going to uh, say to me and I am uh, expressing my feelings or something that uh, to you. So it's the main uh, thing and main medium for us to communicate with each other and that is the main key that we can uh, communicate with each other wherever they live in uh, in the world so it's uh, like a miracle to uh, understand each other in uh, wor in the world uh, world people and uh, actually to understand now understand how far english can take uh, you that uh, take a pick of those two uh, uh, true success stories if you um, if you know how english can uh, change this life so actually uh, when you are uh, trying to be success in uh, any sector then english can help you i think uh, <clears throat> and uh, in job opportunities in our uh, now in modern era it's very uh, important thing that English, uh, you have to know English in your every sector, and it can help you to know others, uh, other countries' progress, and other countries' uh, some uh, technologies and something about. It. Yes, indeed, indeed, I agree with you. Thank you so much for sharing your opinion about that. And uh, I should say that English changed lives because English is changing my life, my uh, way of thinking uh, about things uh, yeah. related to my life. And I'm so happy with uh, this English level that I'm achieving right now. So that's it, guys. That is for that's all for today. I just had opportunity to spoke and to talk with my friend from Bangladesh. Her you name can is help Charmy. others to Charmy understand. Is Yes, I'm so sorry because you maybe you just freezy and I was speaking here during yeah, the freezing time. Go go ahead, no problem if you have some. My uh, uh, Wi-Fi is not. No problem, no problem. We are just Actually, finishing uh, our English meeting. Uh, um, my, my, uh, me be my wife connection is all so that yeah we, actually it uh, depends on everyone's life and i think that if you want to do a, your dream job and it's the key of your life Yes, indeed, guys. Uh, Charmy was tell us that he was telling uh, that was tell us, sorry, that English can change lives because there depends, of course, each uh, target that you have in your life. If you are target, if your target is to get your job of your dreams, the job of your dreams, a uh, better job, or, or maybe to live abroad, maybe to have the ability to make friends for all over the world, English can help you with that. 
And I have been studying English with my friends for a long time. Honestly, I have been studying English for more than five years right now. I know that my English there has a lot to improve yet, but I'm so happy with my English level until today. And I'm so glad that you all made it, guys. I'm so glad that you are here with me. Our English YouTube channel is growing a lot. It's growing fast. I'm so happy with that as well. And that's it, guys. Uh, just took up this uh, for you, for your life. Just took our own example for your life. Uh, and not to do the same as we are doing, but to do best, to do much better than we are doing right now. So study English harder, develop your English skills by yourself with your friends. Use all the tools that you have available in your life because I'm using it a lot. I have a bit available in my own life as well. I'm not studying English by myself because I do not believe in English teachers, but I'm studying by myself because I, I believe that it's totally possible and that is my condition right now. And English with, uh, with Charming is the same with my, my other friends here, other English group is the same as well. So English can change your life, but depends, of course, which target do you put in your life to achieve it. And I'm so happy with my friends, with my English speaking club here, that we are developing English, uh, we are developing English speaking skills faster and with quality. And we are made friends during that. We are making a lot of friends all over the world. We using our English skills as Charmy just uh, said here with us. So Charmy. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I'd like to just say for these people who are uh, watching here on our YouTube channel to say that we have a Facebook page as well, that we have our English WhatsApp group. If you would like to be part of our English group, let me know in the comments below on this video on the YouTube channel. And just don't forget to go to the Facebook page, which is called the Practicing by Conversation. And there you're going to find my uh, page and you can see so many uh, tips that we have been sharing with our friends there. So, Jeremy, thank you so much for joining us here. So that's it, guys. We're going to finish this English meeting because I believe that our Internet is not so good today. But I'd like to say again, hello, Charmy. Thank you so much to be here. And I really appreciate your time, guys. If you are not subscribed to this English YouTube channel, don't forget to do it before this English video finishes. So I'd like to say, yes, you can. And just stay with us. We're going to have an amazing conversation here each week. So see you there. Bye.